Welcome back to Season 2 of the Discount Property Investor Podcast. Our mission is to share with you what we have learned from our experience and the experience of others to help you make more money investing like a pro. We want to teach you how to create wealth by investing in real estate the Discount Property Investor way. Make sure you never miss an episode and download the Discount Property Investor app in Google Play or iTunes today. To jumpstart your real estate investing career, visit freewholesalecourse.com, the most complete free course on wholesaling real estate ever. Thanks for tuning in. Rock and roll. All right, guys, welcome back to the Discount Property Investor Podcast. This is your host, David Dodge. Mike is in the field today as usual, but that's a good thing. I'm glad that one of us is out there working. Today, I'm joined by a special guest, Mr. Matt Hedstrom from Rehab Estimator Pro. Matt, how the hell are you, man? Amazing, man. Loving it. 20 degrees up here in Wisconsin. <laughs> yep. Here in St. Louis, it's about 30 today. So it's a cold nice. one, man. It is. It's a heat wave for us right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. So, hey, I have, I'm, I'm happy to have, to have the opportunity to have you on the show. I have seen your product being used by multiple people at different RIAs. And um, I think it's awesome. So I wanted to have you on the show today. I wanted to learn more about it and mm -hmm. just talk about some of the things that, that it does and how it can help people. So before we jump into that, though, um, tell us a little bit about yourself. Are you also a real estate investor? Do you use it in your business or are you just the software guy? I'm just curious. No, great question, man. I love it. Um, still a real estate investor, man. Looked at, uh, you know, I'm, I'm all over the place, just like many of us. So um, I was in the engineer's office today looking, you know, putting up a, we're putting up an eight unit. Um, I brought Rehab Estimator Pro into a single family house today, um, gave them a cash offer right at the table. Uh, you know, it's, it's, I'm, I'm doing the same thing, man. I'm, I'm, I practice what I preach. I'm not, I'm not a software guy. I'm not some guru out there. So uh, that's, that's me, real estate investor to the core. Hell yeah. That's awesome. So you're using this in your own business. Why'd you create it? I, most of the tools that I have in my business I, were all created because of the lack that I saw in um, it just, it's just how my brain works. It's how, how it goes. Needed, needed to fill a hole. And so I just said, man, this, this would be super awesome if we had a product like this. So I just developed it, created it, hired the right people to do that. And now we use it every day in our business. And now uh, it's, it's picked up so much momentum that I'm um, hitting shows like, like yours, man, uh, top guys out there in the field with uh, the best podcasts out there. Hell yeah, man. That's awesome. I love it. I love it. Well, I've heard great things. Let's jump in. Tell us about it. What does it do? What's its purpose? Who's it for? It's uh, all, all great questions, man. I, I, I get excited about this. So I'll start, you know, puking all over the, uh, all over the screen. You just stop me when you No, can. that's what you're here for. Let's hear it, man. Right on, man. Spill your guts. Um, tell us the, tell right us the dirty stuff. Let's do it. So I, I wanted, I wanted something that, uh, you know, I take a guy like myself who's been in the business for as, as far as uh, I've been a general contractor for over 20 years. And so, you know, I, I'm, I've got my own re up here. We've got our own funding Academy. I've, I've, you know, I've got a short sale negotiating business, got all these tools, right? All these, all these things happening. And, and when it comes to the rehab side and the wholesale side, the flip side, it's like, there's, there's, taking my experience, it's, it's so easy for me to walk into a house and know what repairs are going to be in less than five minutes. How do you take somebody when we got rooms and we got all these people sitting in our audiences that are in a cubicle or they just got into real estate or somebody sold them a course and we expect them to take that and go into a house and, and figure out repairs and, and try to find all the things that are. Man, happen. that's, that's one of the most difficult things to, for people to learn. Yeah. Um, I know that it was for me. Yep. Um, so yeah, being able to it. go ahead, go ahead. Well, you know, I mean, that is true because it's, if, if I, if, if I make this statement, man, I mean, you, you tell me if I'm wrong in, in this, if, if I ask a question, look, man, there's two things in this business. And if you're going to be, if you're going to be a full-time real estate investor, there's two things you can't screw up. All right. It, number one, your ARV, right? I mean, you screw that up, your deal's south. All that's right? where you start. That's where I tell everybody, you start with that. That's the first number you work backwards from. So if that number's wrong, well, guess what? Everything else is not going to work. It just doesn't work. You, it's better how you twist it. There's right. no value engineering you do at that point. To, to absolutely, that, right? absolutely. So, so second now, we, we come up and we say, so we've got this standard, right, in this country, with MLS, right? So mm -hmm. we, we, don't, we, don't, we don't teach students at Redfin or, or your comps and your ARV comes from Zillow or comes from Trulia or any of that, right? It's the MLS. That's the standard. So we right. tell people to find a real estate investor, that a friendly uh, realtor out there or whatever, or, or you go get, a, go get your license. So why then 
The other, the second thing, you can't screw up a repair cost. Ruins your whole deal, okay? So you, you, so we have a standard for ARV, but when it comes to repair costs, we, we just, we pull that number right out of our rear end, you know, and just say, ah, you know what, this looks like 30 grand, all right? It, and, and there's no backing for it whatsoever. So why, why not have a tool that everybody in this business trusts, okay? You, you're not only, this is newbies, this is wholesalers. I mean, think about the, the stigma of wholesalers. You know, you, you, know, you know the pictures going around online. There's a tree sticking out of the top of the house and the wholesaler's like, hey man, $5,000 in repairs and it's yours. You know, it's, it's, that's, why not have a tool that a wholesaler can use, a newbie can use, a seasoned veteran real estate investor. You can send your bookkeeper out into the field. All right, this is for your lender because now they trust your numbers. This is for all your contractors because you've sat down with them and gone over it and they trust that you are bidding their jobs for them. Right? For them, yep. This is for yep. everybody, all right? Love we, it. We need a standard. I just, I, I happen to create that standard. So um, this, this is something, again, like I had said before, I want to be able to send my bookkeeper out and say, can you go look at this house and just make sure everything you see, you just hit, this is based on a checkbox. You're just going to add it, yeah, add it in. So are we talking about a website or an app or what exactly is it? Um, so I like that you yeah, asked, so the, the apps were created as well as the website, but we, we keep adding so many things to the site because I've got now, I've got a, a partner in Ohio mm -hmm. who's actually a developer. So as we keep enhancing and adding to this thing every month, the apps just cannot keep up. There's so much, there, there's so much that goes into it. So we've got those kind of sitting on the shelf. They were fully functional. Um, but now we're just, we're waiting until we fully build out this website. And, and it's, it's meaning as we're adding pieces, we're adding, we're adding, uh, adding uh, rental analyzers, you know, so your rental properties can even be analyzed because that's very different from a flip. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we've got all kinds of calculators built into it. We've got a one page contract. Um, it is pulling comps now as well. So the apps just don't keep up. So it's web-based right now, works on your phone. Okay. Love it, man. Love okay. it. So, um, so you heard it guys. A lot of times whenever you have a, a software or a system that is constantly mm -hmm. being updated, it's best to just use the, the website, uh, because pushing that over to the app, uh, it, it can, it can slow things down. So I always liked using the websites whenever there's the option between the two. Um, until it's just, you know, very well built out. So I love that you're transparent about that. Um, that's huge. You know, that's really yeah. huge. Um, so Matt, whenever you, uh, built this out, you were thinking from the get go, what's the hardest thing for people to learn in this business? And, you know, you got to start with your ARV. We mentioned that, but the next mm -hmm. is knowing the, the repair costs. What does the rehab consist of? So you yeah. built something that anybody could use. And essentially that's what you're saying. You want your bookkeeper or whoever to be able to go to the mm -hmm. property and come up with a, you know, a very accurate estimate because we never know until we start, but you know, to get an estimate um, and that's what you've done. So tell us how that even works. You have line items for different things or like if I was new and never used it before and you, you handed me, you know, a phone or an iPad and said, Dave, you're in front of the property. Here's Love what it. you need to do. How does that look? Love it, man. Um, first thing is it's going to, it's going to pull the property up based on Zillow. All right. So, you know, a lot of these applications out there use the same, you know, base because we're not pulling from MLS from 50 different places. Right. So it's going to, it's going to pull, it's, it's going to find your property and it's, you're going to create a new property. And then from there, it is actually going to give you a map and show you all of your comps around it based on Zillow and give you an ARV that it suggests. Okay. And it's all, it's, it's the only one of its kind that does this because it actually stacks Zillow comps. All right. It actually, it actually takes and finds one comp and then builds on that comp and then builds on that comp. And it has a color coded system to tell you, Hey man, the bedrooms are off or the square footage is off. So once we get that far, we've created the property. Now you're just going into basic areas. Okay. You're doing, you're, you're getting into exterior because you're pulling up to the house and you're in the exterior tab. Then it's interior. So hold on back up for one sec before you even get yep. into the exterior, ex, the exterior, yep. interior, you are having yep. this thing help build, build you an ARV. Yes. Yep. And, so you type in an really address and it's going to give you a couple comps and then average those and give you yep. an estimated ARV. Yep. It's, it's going to drop 25 properties and it's going to, we've, we've color coded this whole thing. So it'll, you know, like today I looked at a property and it, and it showed it, it was in a rural area. So it showed, it showed me three red, you know, uh, tabs right away saying, Hey man, these three comps are three miles away. So, you know, and it's alerting me to that. And so I know I'm in a real, there aren't any real good comps. You know, there's no half mile, quarter mile, even a mile. So it's, 
But we always, there's another box right on top that says, hey, look, use this ARV to calculate. Okay, so it's going to give you a suggested ARV, but as we know, that's not what we're using in our final. Like, we are going to do some more research, but at least we know where we're starting from, right? I so, love it, and I, yeah, and I love it. You, you know, you got to do your due diligence. You cannot rely right. on someone else right. to tell you those numbers. However, right. the more data you have, the there better you, you can figure out that number. Yeah. So, like me personally, when I run comps on a property, I don't just go to Zillow. That's the worst thing you can do. Right. However, it's part of my, of my yep. algorithm. So what does my algorithm look like? It looks like a Zestimate. It looks like um, looking at the actual comps and determining what I think, but then yep. also taking a, taking a number from um, my realist report, which is my local tax assessor, which does their own basically uh, Zestimate type thing. Right. And then I also use PropStream. Me and my team use that. So they have yep. amazing data. And we'll pull right. reports from there. We average all those together to get comps um, as well. But the fact that you guys are giving people some data, you know, right. again, more is better in this scenario. So Matt, love I it. think that's beautiful, man. I love, love it, man. that. And love you're that. teaching the right stuff, man. I love it. Cause I mean, if you have somebody that's accurately analyzing a property, that lose ya? The assessment, I like to take price per square foot. You know, um, you know, I like to include all of these things, you know, in that analysis. So we're yeah, going to do something absolutely. to start off and then you're going to take, you know, you're going to take your own team and say, here's the ARV that I want Rehab Estimator Pro to use. Okay. So that you put that number in there and then bang, your property's created, your profile's created. And now you're just going to go into three tabs. You're going to exterior, interior, miscellaneous mechanicals. So exterior, and this is all checkbox based. All right. So this is the beauty of it. I don't, I'm not getting out and measuring a roof, but I can see the roof and whether or not it needs to be replaced. Right. Right. So we're, we're, what are, we're looking at, man, you and me, we're sitting in the van, right? We're sitting in the truck. We're looking outside, man. We're looking at the front door. We're looking at the gutters. We're looking at the siding, we're looking at the porch, we're looking at the roof, we're looking at the windows. Right. So all of these things we can quickly analyze, but now you got somebody that, that you're, you're just checking the box. Oh, yep. It needs a roof. Oh, single car garage. It needs a roof exterior painting. Yep. It needs that light landscaping and cleanup. Always check that box. So All before right, so you even check boxes, box. are you putting in a square foot? Nope. The square foot is already pulled off of that. Oh, off, off the, off the, the off the, off the address. Yep. And it's, Oh building, wow. That's right. cool. I like so that. You got it, man. You've already figured it out. It's building those values based on the prices we already have preloaded in there and the square footage of the house. Okay. Wow. That's something um, really cool. I like that. Right. I like and so that. that's the difference in this whole game. All right. I don't want to sit like I spent way too many years looking at everybody's systems and I'm not going to knock any system. It's because they were thorough, but you can't give a newbie or a wholesaler or a lender 5,000 line items of, Oh, Hey, did anybody measure the lineal footage of the crown molding on the cabinets? I don't right. care about that. Who, who, you know, when you itemize item, you know, certain all the, the whole rehab, you miss four or five things and you just lost the deal. Okay. You, you, you can't afford to miss these things. So we've grouped it into large components. Okay. So that like, if, if you go into interior now and you click, you, you click uh, interior painting, right? I'm not, man, you're not counting rooms or square footage of walls or ceilings, man. It's going off the square footage of the house. All right. Yeah. And that's what makes it so simple. I right? love Our that. national value is $2 and 50 cents a square foot of the house. Take that number to every investor across the country and it works. All right. Some will tweak it. Some what is it? What is it? $2 and 50 cents based on the square foot. So square for foot paint. of the house. Yep. For paint. Yep. For paint. And, right. Yep. So. Man, I love it. I think this is so cool. So you have the exterior out, outside um, for all those options and all those things. And there's really not that much guys. That's what's right. so great about it. You don't need to necessarily dive too deep. Like, you know, like you said, you got a roof, you got an exterior um, that may need siding it may be brick. It may need paint. You got gutters, soffit, fascia, yep. um, some shutters, windows, doors, landscaping, maybe some sidewalks, grass. That's yep. it. That's all there is to it. You know, right. Right. inside, same thing. Like, you know, it's flooring, walls, trim, doors, um, light switches, stuff like that. You know, are you going to need to adjust these things? Are you going to need to paint them? Are you going to need to upgrade them? So it's really not that complicated. However, if you don't know, you don't know. And when I say you don't know, I mean, have you done 10 rehabs already? You know, because then you'll know, you'll think I'm going to spend 20 and you spend 50. Right. It happens, right? right? You just don't yep. know. Once we go into a house at this point, we tack on sometimes 15 or 20% 
yep. to that number just because we don't know. And we know that we don't know. And it's okay not to know. But having more, more data will always help you. And this is what your product does. It gives people the ability to compile data easily and then yep. analyze that. So I think that's phenomenal. Yep. I love and it. I, I, love your, I love your ad, David, about uh, um, percentage. Because even a seasoned guy like you and, and me out there, I'm still putting a percentage because here's the thing. I'm not going into this, into this house and counting doorknobs and counting heat register vent covers and maybe an electrical outlet cover on the exterior. I don't care about any of that crap because I'm stuffing it into my number on the, you know, a 10 to 15% number that's going to be called miscellaneous because right. we're, we're not counting hinges. We're, we're not, we're not there to do that. All right. Right. So you're going to be, you're going to be very close, you know, with this number, just like flooring. Man, I'm not going in there and designing the house when I'm in initial consult, right, with the house. I'm not picking, well, I want LVT in here, and I want carpet in these bedrooms, and I want some kind of sheet good vinyl in the front entryway, and I'm going to refinish the hardwood floors. No, I'm pressing the flooring button and moving on. Done. Okay? It calculates all that. Now, the beauty of that is that while you're checking these boxes, it's creating an entire scope of work for you, okay, on the back okay. end that you're going to have. So now, when you press, Let's say you press that roof button, okay, for the main house. You're now in your scope of work, what you can give your contractors, your lenders, your, lend, you know, whoever. You're, you're, you have a scope of work that says, hey, you're going to tear off and remove one Oh, so you guys create the scope of work on top of the on, estimate. A, a super detailed scope of work. Wow. Okay? That so, is awesome. And so all of that stuff is built up. So if you disagree with, like, say, say my middle, you know, or let's say my high-end kitchen says, hey, we're going to install quartz countertops. It's going to be a custom layout. We're going to remove a wall and we're going to put 42 inch uppers and it's going to be a, a stone backsplash. Right. You can change that to whatever your standard is and it will print out in that scope of work. And it's all just at the click of a button. Man, I was just looking. So I'm going to do a plug on my book real quick, but I wrote yep. a book, The Ultimate Guide to Wholesaling Real Estate. And I was yep. just, I wrote the book two years ago. So I was just kind of going back to see what I had in there on this chapter how to determine repairs chapter 13 actually and we have two Love different it. ways we have the rule of fives and we have the square footage estimator so if you guys aren't familiar i'm going to school you real quick on two simple ways mm -hmm. to determine re repairs however these ways aren't nearly as accurate as something like matt has created at rehab um, estimate estimator pro you so definitely go check his out the ways that we did it or the ways that i did it when i first started was the rule of fives so it's very, very basic, but you could be off by five grand super easy, right? Yep, but yep. basically it's, you know, does it need a roof, windows, flooring, kitchen, bath? Those are all going to be either five or 10 grand, depending on the size of them, right? And then is it a lot of little miscellaneous stuff? Five grand, is there a ton of little miscellaneous stuff? 10 grand, just rules of fives, right? Big kitchen's 10, small kitchen's five. Kitchen's, yep. your bathroom's five. Flooring for the whole house, five, right? Paint the whole house, five. It's not the best way, but it'll at least let you know if it's going to be a 15K rehab or a 70K rehab, right? Good, it's going man. to definitely get you in the, in the ballpark of 30, 20 to 30%. Not the best way. The next way that we teach is the square footage multiplier. Um, we, have our, we just got our 56 rental property online today. So we have a lot of rentals. So we know that in our market, we can get a property um rent ready for typically anywhere between eight and fifteen dollars a foot um so we take the the amount of square feet multiplied by that but it depends on the condition this always changes right mm -hmm. uh, but eight to eight to fifteen is typically a rent rent ready one um, anywhere from 20 to 30 is for a light rehab and 35 to 50 dollars a foot for a full-blown rehab i mean there's definitely a variance and you'll know where you're going to be depending on your finishes and your neighborhood and all that type of things um but again those those you, you know, we are still getting better at those over time. I flipped 400 houses, done over a hundred rehabs, you know, and I'm still tweaking those formulas. Yep. So it's having, taking the guesswork out of it um, is something that's very, very int int interesting. And I'm intrigued to learn a lot more about this as well after the fact, because maybe there's something that we could implement on our team, mm -hmm. you know, to let our guys use that are out in the field as well. I think it's awesome. Very cool. How long have you guys been, been in business doing this? It's, it's been a couple of years now that we've had that and we really actually haven't officially launched. So, um, I mean, all this stuff has been totally organic with, with, uh, who's using it out there now. Cause I do have entire teams now across the country where they'll take like their, some of them have up to 10 acquisition guys 
you know, where they put it all in their hands. And then one person has a master account where they can monitor all 10 of their guys with their deals. Because like I said, it's, it's not only spitting out, you know, that ARV, but it's spitting out all your repair costs. It's spitting out a scope of work and it's spitting out a one page contract that they can use to close the deal. Man, so, the scope of work and the contract as well is that is super, yeah. super cool. So like, do they, is there, do they have the ability to modify that if they need, or is there like some pre, some pre, uh, pre program fields that they fill out that then just kind of mail merge in? Everything is a hundred percent filled out right now. If you go in there with your team, because I highly suggest, man, what a great opportunity, right? To take your contractor out to lunch and open this up and say, Hey man, let's look at the parameters of this because it's one button click, right? You click my parameters. It brings you into all the pricing and all the scope of work details. So you can go in there and just tweak it slightly to whatever works. But I'm telling you, man, I've, I've studied, I've studied the big GCs doing the hedge funds, all mm -hmm. those repairs. I've met with investors all over this country. Um, I can drop names, but it doesn't, it doesn't matter in here. I've, I've brought this to the job site and we've tested this. So the numbers there, you know, that's, that's, you know, you want to, you want to hit objections first, right? People's objections. The, the immediate one always is, well, that may work in your market, but in my market, you know, I, and I, I just call bull on that, man, because I mean, it's, it's so similar and it's so close, man. I mean, these hedge funds are hiring GCs all over the country to do the same work everywhere. All right. They're finding the guys to do the same work for the same cost. So you can tweak it slightly to your, however you operate. You may do a little higher end finishes. You may do rental rehabs only. All right. You may do just that standard fix and flip at the $150,000 price point. All right. You, you can tweak it depending on whether you have a level A, B or C contractor. All right. Most of us are dealing with level C contractors in this business. So, and that's all, <laughs> yep, that, absolutely. That is hard, man. It is yep. hard. And you know what simplifies the, the relation or the, the interaction between a good investor and a level C or even a level D contractor is to have everything laid out in writing in advance yep. to where you know what should happen when and you get paid after these actions. And I feel like most people fail with their relationships, not because either person's a bad person, but it's because there was a lack of agreement. Another way to look at this is a lack of communication that you just write down. It doesn't have to be fancy guys, but you know, you, you need to have a set of parameters that both people can follow. What is my obligations? What are my duties? And people don't put those out. So having the ability to create a scope of work is huge. I know so many people that, um, you know, their scope of works on a notepad and that's okay if you're not necessarily trying to make it a business. But if you were trying to make it a business to where you're churning out, you know, 10 plus homes a week or a month or whatever it might be, you need to have a system and having a scope of work is part of that system. So yeah. I'm blown away. I thought that your product just helped estimate, but the fact that it creates a scope of work is huge. Yep. Love that. And tell me more about the contract. This is the contract to purchase, right? So you're walking yep. the property, you create this, uh, this repair estimate, you've already pulled um, the address, which has the square footage and the comps, and that gives you a number to start with that you can obviously tweak. Uh, you enter your repairs, you, pr yep. you cl click enter, you got yourself an emailed scope of work, and then you have a yep. contract. What's up, what's up with that? Yep. Love it, man. So as soon as you, you press uh, calculate offers, it's going gonna, it's gonna to pop into three boxes. And so right now the system is tweaked and designed where you're going to see if you were to take, you know, your standard, let's just take a standard MAO formula, maximum allowable offer. All right. If you take your ARV times 0.7 times 70% and minus the repairs you came up with, it's going to be within a few hundred dollars typically of that. Except now this offer is going to show you, Hey, here's my holding costs. Here's my closing costs. Here's what I got, you know, here's the, here's the related cost. Here's the miscellaneous. It's going to break down all those costs. So you're not just that guy pulling a number out of your rear end, right? At, at, you know, standing there with, with, uh, you know, Sally, the homeowner, right? You're, you've actually got something in your hands because I, I have, um, you know, I, I'll take it to the next level. I always bring an iPad with me and I also have a portable wireless cordless printer battery. All right, dude, we're walking through the house. And by the time we're done with, with you know, we're walking down the, the stairs, coming down to the kitchen and I've already got the contract being printed on the kitchen table while we're while we're walking down the stairs all right how are you printing so, you got a printer in the car or something it's a it's a it's a wireless and cordless printer that i've set on the kitchen table as soon as i get there and it's just <laughs> it's, it's, a tiny, it's a tiny little thing like this man and it's got paper already loaded into it and it, it's already printing scope of work it's printing us so 
everybody else is pulling a number out of the air and saying, hey, and they're like, oh, well, we'll get back to you. No, 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 I'm here to get a signed contract, all right? So this contract is gonna show you three different options. Number one is a cash offer, you know, which is in, 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 this, in you know, this market right now, it's, you know, people are having a tough time with that, you know, that wholesale offer. So, and then it's gonna give you two seller finance options as well, which you can tweak to whatever terms you like. So it's gonna give you three different offers. Cause you know, in this business, man, when you're getting into these homes, you should be giving multiple exit strategies, not just here's my cash offer, take it or leave it. And then you walk out the door. Yep. Foolish. You're leaving deals yep. on the table. All right? We do. You know what is funny about that is that we always offer multiple. However, we have, we have strategic people in, in, our, in our business model that do those things. So we basically just wholesale the deal to them, even though that the approach is different. I don't like yep. doing sub two or seller financing. Yep. I'm on the purchase side. It's just not worth my time. Uh, but other people love it. So I find the leads a lot of times and I say, here's a cash offer. Here's another offer. And if they like that, boom, I can still help that person make yep. a little bit. I usually don't charge a lot because I'm just helping a friend out and the yep. seller, but I make a little bit and then they get a deal too. So I love that. That's yep. awesome, guys. Man, there's always a deal there, right? So there's always a deal. You can't look at your competitors either as competitors. Yep. You need to change your mindset. These are your right strategic on. partners. They know people that you don't. There's only so many hours in the day and you cannot, it is impossible to know everybody, right? Everybody has their own circle. So they may have buyers for your deals. You may have buyers for their, for your, for theirs, vice versa. Um, you got to change your mindset on that. I think this is great though. So man, I, it's jam packed with value. You guys can start with the ARV. It pulls the comps from, from, from the Zillow and, and it averages those, um, allows you to, to do all of the interior and exterior uh, repair list, which then creates a scope, creates a contract um, that breaks down your costs for closing, holding, repairs, cost of money, whatever they may be that you can modify, and then gives multiple other um, options in your offer. Holy yeah. smokes, Matt. That is awesome, man. Thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah. It also, I mean, you can take it as far as there's also a seller net sheet on there. A lot of, you know, Oh man, I love people. the seller's net sheet. Yep. Yep. I created of one of those for my company a couple of years ago, man. And we never use it. We people use it once in, a, once in a blue moon, but I man, know. every time that I feel like we have that thing pulled out with an old lady or something, yep. boom, we get the deal every yep. time. I'm telling Crazy. you, there are so many great investors across the country that I know that that's their main strategy. They actually show, Hey, look, this is what's going to happen if you go this route. You know, yeah, you, you might make 15 grand more in 14 months. Is that worth it to you? Right. <laughs> right I can get you paid next week. Let's right, exactly. You know? I'm, right, I'm right here. Yep. Is, it, is, is that really worth the gamble? You're going to have 12,000 12, in cost. Yep. You know, let's yep. end this bleeding. I yep. love it, man. That yep. is awesome. So we've also created, um, we filled a hole. We had a lot of requests coming in for uh, a, a, a rental analyzer. So now this is going to, this is great too, because you're using the same repair costs, right? Now, typically with a rental, we don't really care what ARV is because it's, it's, it's the house is worth to an investor what it's worth. It's cash on cash return. It's, it's their cash flow. But this is actually going to calculate all of your real cost. All right. Most people, you know, getting into the business, they, they take all these gross numbers and think, well, here's what I'm going to cash flow. No, no, no. You got to look out for, you know, vacancies. You got to look out for maintenance, property management, taxes, insurance. Yeah. All some mortgage, man, I'm always looking out. I got some mortgage companies that don't escrow. Mm -hmm. Most of them do, but then I'm getting tax bills and I'm like, sure right. I, didn't account, I didn't account for that. I spent that Oops. on the next rehab, right? right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now I either got to go find another wholesale or I got to do something, yep. right? It's always yep. something, man. I love That's it. The That's the game. That's the game. So, yep, Very so, cool. Yeah. Well, guys, you heard it here. Matt, thank you so much for coming on the show today. Guys, you check out me. Matt Hedstrom. He's the man, Rehab Estimator Pro. We'll have a link uh, to the website here in the show notes. So um, definitely check that out. Matt, thanks for coming on the show today. Much appreciated. You, you educating us on your software, but also uh, just spending some time with us today. We're grateful for your time. So thank you. for Yeah, that. thanks for having me, man. It was a blast. Absolutely. Matt, any uh, departing words for the audience? Anything you want to mention to them before we head out? No, man, it's, uh, it's, it's all about, you, you know the drill, man. I love it because you're, you're, you're doing the same thing, man. You, you got you to gotta hustle, man getting out there and especially, especially today. So you got to be equipped with the right tools and you got to be able to pull the trigger, man. So absolutely it's, consistent, it's so yep. persistent action. That's the key to success guys. It's so simple. Three words. If you are consistently, persistently taking action, 
whatever you decide you want to do, it'll happen. It just takes time. You just can't stop. I love it. Matt, thanks for coming on the show. We're going to be man. signing off, guys. Thanks for listening. Until next time. See you later. Thanks for listening to the Discount Property Investor Podcast. If you enjoyed this episode, please like, share, and subscribe to help us reach a wider audience. To jumpstart your real estate investing career, please visit freewholesalecourse.com, the most complete free course on wholesaling real estate ever. We would also appreciate it if you left us a review on iTunes or Stitcher. Thank you in advance for your support. And remember, you make your money when you buy and you get paid when you sell. Now let's go build some wealth.